because of the shout out from Caleb over there at Digital right. Trends, he mm -hmm. made that video on the Nakamichi Nakamichi Dragon. Yep. Ooh. That's right. Yeah. Very, very good stuff. So it was a great video. And um, that's an interesting, in interesting product, right? Yeah. You know, um, actually, they just gave me uh, an update. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you that are interested in that Nakamichi Dragon, I got an email from Nakamichi today, in fact. Mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. The regular. So what Caleb got was one of the first introductory ones, uh, which are the special edition 500. The yeah. minute at 500, that production mm -hmm. run. Yeah, number one. That's not number one. It said number one on it. It said one of 500, not number one of 500. Oh. Because the plaque, it's just like in the um, the oh. Lamborghini, the new Lamborghini Countach, it says one of 112. So you, they're not going to reprint yeah. custom what? numbers for limited, every... Limited, that's what they're supposed to do. Like, hey, hey I that's, got number, yeah, I got they're still, five. They're I got still saving five. money. I got number five. You know I, didn't wanna, I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I didn't have the chart to tell Caleb. I'll tell him maybe okay. in our text. I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, it's just like the car plaques that say one of 112. It's just one of them. It's not number one. Let me first say this about Nakamichi. Uh, Pre-orders are starting August 3rd for Nakamichi, the regular run, the regular production run. They didn't tell... Let me see if they told me exactly how many they were going to be producing in this run because it is kind of weird. You do 500 and then you do like, I don't know. Here it is. Pre-order starts... Uh, August 3rd, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Oh, price adjustment notice. New MSRP, $38.99. Um, they're, they're putting out a 1,000 units. Okay, it's all in the email. All I had to do was read. Who knew? Okay, all right. So, so you're going to get one? No. Why? Actually, they, they sent a separate email to me, and to both me and Elon Osborne. So... Um, they're either going to send, they're going to send a review unit for us to share. So whether they're going to cut it in half, yeah. <laughs> there you go. no kidding, kidding. They're not cutting it in half. Um, they're going to send it to one of us first. Hopefully they send it to Elon first because uh, I, I don't really have a space to put it except for here. And it's pretty large for this room. You know, yeah. I could try it in my living room, but the like up firing, I know it doesn't work in the living room. So it's kind of one of those things. Um, but yeah, it looks like thirty thirty nine hundred dollars now uh, for this run of one thousand. You know that's a, that's a high price. That's a high price. It is. For a it sound is. But I think what they're trying to go for is like, uh, this is an in between. Like, if you don't want to go with an right. AVR and separate speakers, it could be. It could. It could work in that scenario. You know, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I you have. I heard it. At that, at that, you know, very nice uh, luxury suite at the Bellagio, right? May or may not have been getting massage at the same time, but it sounded good. <laughs> a massage at the same time, of course. I'm just kidding, good. kidding. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, it it sounded very convincing. Um, but again, it, they were on such a tight schedule that they wouldn't play anything off script. Um, because I know uh, Jolster, Jolster, the other YouTube guy, Jolster G4K, he was he was in line behind us, so so we ran into him right outside when we were leaving. Is that the guy who punches the screen? I don't know if he punches the screen. Jolster, I'm not sure. Jolster, yeah, Did yeah. He and I, this. he and I used to talk a lot a long time ago when we were both doing a lot of uh, budget and mid level TV reviews. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you know what? So what do you think? Do you think that that's let's say if somebody wants to get uh, a clip system they, they get at Costco, let's say on sale, and you know they get an inexpensive AVR. I, there's a lot of there's a lot of good technology in in the Dragon. Mm -hmm. um, you know they use the Atmos decoder that's for AVRs and not for sound bars because that's different. So that's cool. Um, there's a lot of flexibility in the you know setup area you can put the distances of how far you are you are away from the sound bar how far your seating position is far as from the um rears and stuff like that so you can actually you could probably get a pretty good experience and then you don't have to put any wires anywhere other than mm. the power you got to yeah. power the surrounds you got to power the subs but there's no wires in the whole thing so Depending on how, like it, I think it's for the right person. It's just like it's just like anything else. It, it's for the right person. It's for the right scenario. If you have like 
if you have like a big long because the thing's long as hell and yeah. it's, it's pretty heavy you have a big long entertainment stand with like an ultra short throw projector right behind it going to a hundred inch screen kind of thing on the wall yeah that could that 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 could work in like a gaming situation you know four thousand dollars you're going to spend four thousand dollars on a 714 system anyway right yeah um yeah so you know who i think is gonna buy this who's who's gonna buy it i think this is really for that person (laughs) what's up i think it's for that person who really where four thousand dollars is not a big deal there are these people where where they can Mm. just you know four thousand bucks is nothing so it might be for their extra room they're like they have a legitimate system and they're like you know what I want to have a, a pretty good experience in this other room that I have for my gaming consoles or whatever, for my whatever, kids yeah. doing whatever. For my yeah. kids. And uh, to them, $4,000 might not be right. a lot of money. To me, it's a lot of money, but maybe yeah. to some other person it might not be. And I think that they would be like, you know what? What's the best one I can get? Okay. Yeah. I mean, let me get that. That's cool. There's, That's um, I mean, Aaron could probably use a, use it. <laughs> yeah. That's expensive, yeah, think- though, dude. That's it's like the thing on the clipple. I'm sure they'll send you a review. All they need, all they need is, uh, you know what, Raymond Chan, uh, Raymond Chang, Chang, Raymond. I just call him Raymond. The CEO said when I walked in the room, he's like, "Oh, there he is, the world famous techno dad, dude." All I gotta do is send an email and be like, "Yeah, send this thing to Aaron. Don't send it to me. Send it to Aaron." That'd be cool. And yeah, maybe. You. Soundbars are tough to review. Awesome. You can't. Yeah. You, you're not gonna be able to just throw that on the clipple. Remember? Yeah. It's kind of like, okay, yeah. I want sound to just play out of the left. Right. That was the big problem I had was I was trying to like dedicate certain signals to go to certain channels. Wow. And I remember talking to you guys about that and I just punted. I was like, this is Well, you can do it with our disc. Can you, can the Clipple machine can like take the audio from the disc or no? Because uh, our disc will be I, in Atmos. I think that I could, mm, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, no, I, it, it has its own signal that it generates. I mean, it could work off Bluetooth and stuff like that, but, but yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know how I would. I don't is, think it, what, so. is it a certain type of sweep, like a special type of sweep? Because we have. Well, it's not so much that. It's just that the outputs are. There's like, really, there's one output for testing one speaker. There's two outputs, but you know, I'm only testing yeah. one speaker. So, I mean, the. The two outputs would be like if it were like an active two way or something like that, then maybe you'd want to do that. Okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, it really it has channel one and channel two. And because of that, yeah, it's complicated. We'd have to talk about yeah. it afterward, but I don't yeah. really think there's a way to do that right now. All right. If you would like to join us every week on Mondays at what time is it? About six PM Central, which is the best time. That's where I am. Make sure you join us at youtube.com slash daily high five. We out.